You've probably seen our video about the history of Volkswagen. And you know how Porsche and Volkswagen came to existence. A lot of people in that comment asked us about the engines that Porsche uses. And somebody said that Hitler suggested to create an engine that doesn't want to break down. It's very simple and it's easy to work on. And some even believe the reason that old Volkswagens are air-cooled is because it could be used in the Eastern Front when fighting Russia. So there are no radiators for it to freeze. But this isn't correct. Before Hitler told Ferdinand Porsche to design the Volkswagen, he already had this engine design finished. A boxer four-cylinder that's air-cooled. You guys probably know how boxers punch. The pistons of this engine move like a boxer. The first person to design a flat engine or a boxer was Carl Benz, the founder of Mercedes-Benz. But Carl's engine was a prototype and it never actually reached production. But Ferdinand Porsche took the design and corrected it. Carl Benz's design was water cool, but since Ferdinand Porsche wanted the simplest engine with no problems, he made it air cooled. He also wanted to make it very lightweight. So he had a very lightweight engine that was easy to work on, simple, and it actually lasted very long. Some people don't even know the boxer or flat engine even exists. As you know, most engines drive like this. Some engines are in a V shape and move like this. But the boxer engine works like this. Just imagine you take a V engine and make it flat. And that is why the engine is sometimes called a flat six or a flat four. Ferdinand Porsche designed this engine in the 1930s. And since he was a master engineer, he basically perfected it for the time and it was ready for production. But this design wasn't really used for up to 15 years. And it doesn't really get built until the end of the 1940s around 1948 to be exact. This is when the war is over and the factories are returned to their German owners. Just like we said in our video about Volkswagen, one of the first cars to use the flat four Volkswagen design engine was in the Porsche 356. And it's very similar to the Volkswagen engine, but it's not the same exact engine. These boxer engines are still found in Porsches to this day, but since 1997, they are not air cooled anymore. And the main reason was you really couldn't pull any more performance from an air cooled engine. So they were forced to change to water cooled. From the 1970s, the flat four turned into a flat six as well. And 911s, Caymans, boxers use the flat six to this day. So now we want to enter a Porsche factory and see how a modern flat six Porsche engine is built. All Porsche engines are built in the Zuffenhausen engine plant in Germany. Just like every other engine, the block is already pre-made and they begin the process with the piston rings. They compress the piston ring so it could be inserted into the cylinder block. After the pistons and rods insert the block, now it's time for the crankshaft to enter from the bottom. And that's with the help of the timing chain. All the supplies they need to build the cylinder head is laid out right here. The way you're seeing the engine is vertical right now. That is why you see three cylinders. And the way it inserts the Porsche, it's like this.
Right here we have the head gasket. What you're seeing right here is the oil pan. And when the engine is finished, it will be inserted in the car like this, so it will be at the bottom. This is when the head meets the block. Each side of the block has a head, and each head has two camshafts. So it has four camshafts in total. When the head is completed, the valve cover goes up. Then we get to the final stage, where everything has to be inserted on top of the motor, like oil filter housing, plumbing, alternator, wiring, spark plugs, coil packs. If you've seen our video about how an AMG engine is built, you'll know that one technician works on it from start to finish. And at the end, they put their signature on the engine. But it seems like Porsche doesn't want to do that. And they trust all their technicians and engineers to build the engine correctly. And it really shows because Porsche has one of the highest quality product in the world. The engine you're seeing right here goes on this car, the 911 Turbo. And it's good to know it's one of the most expensive packages you could get on a 911. A 911 Turbo has an average price of about $200,000, especially when you get the Turbo S. As you can see, there is so much stuff around this engine block and it's way too many stuff since we started with. As you can see, this is the Turbo and it has one of those on each side. This is no ordinary engine. Since we've seen a 911 turbo engine, let's see a one without a turbo. You can tell it's a much smaller package and this will be put in in many different types of Porsches. If you know a thing about Porsches and especially 911s, you might ask why don't they choose the best model, the 911 GT3 RS and put a turbo engine in it. Did they want no more power to be added on? The GT3 RS is all about weight. And if you don't know, turbos weigh a lot. You can't just count the turbo as this little snail piece you see right here. There is a lot of components that goes along with it for it to work correctly. And that all adds weight to the vehicle. The things you need are extra oil coolers, intercoolers, extra intakes, a heavier exhaust, two turbos which weigh a lot themselves. When the motor is finished, the tester and inspectors come along and they have to make sure everything is done correctly. When the inspector gives the green light, it goes to the engine room to be turned on and tested. After this, the engine is sent to different Porsche factory to be put in different types of 911s, Caymans and Boxers. So how does this engine sound like? like this.